Hello everyone, program cell death is a special type of cell death where a cell becomes apoptotic corpse and program cell death is very essential for development and homeostasis. There's a whole bunch of cell types. Among them, morphologically complex cell have long processes. How program cell death occurs in morphologically complex cell is not very well understood. That brings to my outstanding question, how program cell death takes place in morphologically complex cell and what is the molecular mechanism behind the localized cell elimination? To study this, our model system is silicons. Its transparent body allows us to see the cell dying in vivo. Our lab discovered a novel program of cell death, which is called compartmentalized cell elimination. Cell against morphologically complex cell, tail spike cell is a um, uh, cell that dies throughout the development and in uh, threefold embryo. As the cell starts to die, the soma becomes rounded, the proximal process gets fragmented, and the distal process being retracted, and the um, soma and the distal process being engulfed by neighboring cells. Another cell called CM neuron dies in a similar manner, which indicates this type of compartmentalized cell elimination is a universal event. The proximal process beating is similar to pruning fragmentation and the distal process retraction is similar to axonal retraction. We were interested to know how mitochondria is involved in CCE. We introduced a mitochondrial reporter. And surprisingly, as the in the earlier developmental stages, mitochondria is more towards the process in the tail spike cell as the tail spike cell develops. Mitochondria is most towards the soma, and when it dies, there is no mitochondria in the process. Mitochondria somehow gets back to the soma in retrograde fashion prior to death. We did a screen, and we got a mutant called unkinesin and 16 which has a CCA defect, and the defect is there is a remnant of cell spike cell is remaining there. And we uh, clearly saw expression and we saw that um, kinesin and 16 functions cell autonomously in tail spike cell. Since kinesin and 16 is a motor protein, it carries different type of cargo towards the microtubule placent. We were interested to know what is the cargo of kinesin and 16. Um, we thought of mitochondria. We uh, looked at mitochondrial reporter and we saw there is in fact a mitochondria in the remnant of tail spike cell, which indicates mitochondria is the, um, the one of the cargo of kinesin and 16. In fact, we see that all the time. And later, we were interested to know whether mitochondria is exclusive cargo and consisting, where we introduced a special type of DNA where uncon 16 was attached to the mitochondrial outer membrane protein. And that rescued the phenotype very strongly that indicates mitochondria is a exclusive cargo of kinesin and uncon 16. Cetri are um, Cetri caspase assisting proteases, the strong loss of function of Cetri. Uh, have CCE defect and there's a intact tail spike cell remaining. We looked at the mitochondrial reporter in such a mutant and interestingly we saw mitochondria in the process, which um, is very interesting because anterogate mitochondrial movements is somehow allowed in this set three um, caspis mutant. So uh, and that is targeted by set three. Uh, and what is the cargo? What is the substrate or what is the target of set three caspase. We did a screen and we got a potential caspase target that is UNC104. Um, while caspase fails to cleave UNC104, it can carry mitochondria towards the process. Uh, one of the 10 mut mutants with a site-specific CRISPR mutation showed uh, delayed death, um, delayed, de delayed death as well as delayed CCE. Here, there is my future directions and thank you.